Here I'm showing the very simple bungee cord method of self-steering. This only works if you're beating up directly into the wind. You can see I've got a short length of bungee cord on either end of a short line, wrapped a few times around the tiller. I've released the main sheet by just a few inches just to allow the main sail to flog a bit as we point up directly into the wind, this boat falls off and then the main sail catches again. Here you can see my storm jib being used to steer the boat on a beat. The storm jib has its own wire stay, so I've attached it directly to the tow rail. A sheet comes from the storm jib back to a snatch block on the tow rail. You follow that back to a turning block back parallel with the tiller. The sheet goes over to the tiller where it's wrapped around several times to make it secure. On the opposite side you can see surgical tubing which provides opposite tension. That system is under quite a bit of tension. The surgical tubing is attached to a short line that's wrapped around my winch and that's how I provide the tension to the system. To move to a different point of sail using the storm jib system, don't adjust the storm jib, rather let out the sheets on the jib and the mainsail, and perhaps you will have to adjust the tension of the surgical tubing and the sheet. Here I am using the storm jib system in 20 to 25 knots of apparent wind. I've actually got two reefs in the main, and you see I've actually let out the sheet on my uh, jib a fair bit just to let off some excess wind with tw excess twist. The storm jib system is keeping me perfectly even. I'm sailing between uh, about 31 and 36 or 37 degrees apparent wind, which is pretty darn good at these kind of winds. I couldn't steer that straight with my hand. I'm using the storm jib system on a nice beam reach. I've got maybe a 20 degrees variation from point to point. I've eased the jib and the mainsail up quite a bit. Also, relax the sheet from the storm jib so that it doesn't apply so much pressure to try to get out of it. If you watch the tiller, you can see it turning. Now I'm using the pulled out jib system. I'm steering between 140 and 150 true. I've got the jib up and the main up. I've actually pulled the jib and the main in just a bit just to get the, the uh, direction I want, the heading that I want. You can see the pulled out jib working its way up there on the bow. Very little of the jib is actually showing to the wind. As the wind moves forward, more of the jib shows that pulls the tiller and turns the boat down again. Here I am using the pulled out jib system to steer very deep. I'm sailing between 150 and 165 true. You can see the pulled out jib is well forward. I'm actually sailing at about 20 knots of wind, which is why I've got the jib so far forward. You'll also notice I'm sailing so deep that I just dropped my jib altogether because it was just shielded behind the main anyway. I'm still running with two reefs in the main. You can see the, pull, the jib flapping quite a bit, but every time the boat moves forward it catches and the boat steers down again. It's working just perfectly. Here I'm using the pulled out storm jib method to sail downwind in lighter winds. I'm sailing quite deep downwind, as you can see. The winds are blowing just six or seven true, and I'm sailing at about three knots with just my number one, my Genoa, up on the front. It's holding my position quite nicely. <laughs>